Hello, this is Homemade Collectibles Channel, and today we are going to look at a brand new creation. This is the Homemade Posable Pacific Rim 2013 film Kaiju Mutabor. This is a homemade articulated posable origami figure that is detailed, that has lots of um, craft built into it, and a really cool little piece that I want to show that is available for sale for a, um, in, um, in, in our store links below. <laughs> Apologies, couldn't speak English for a second, but it is available. There's links below to purchase one if you're interested. Um, not that expensive. So this is a really cool kaiju. It's the one that broke through the Sydney wall in the beginning of the film. There isn't a lot of toys for Pacific Rim 2013. And um, this is a film that's 11 years old. So yeah, it's a great film. And I really wanted to make a figure from that line to see if anyone's interested in buying it. And this is a video of it. So enough talking, let's take a look at the figure. So this comes with one accessory, which it is on right now and it's a little stand to hold the kaiju in place uh, just because of the design of this creature um, we decided that a stand should be included this is a you know light uh, paper plastic stand that you can actually kind of bend and, and depending on where you place it will hold the kaiju monster in place so best way to do it is kind of like this, have it tip over the kaiju's chest. Have the legs like that, and there you go. But the kaiju does stand kind of without the um, stand, but you just kind of have to pose the legs a little bit and really rely on the tail to do the job because just the way the kaiju is designed where most of the heaviness is here and the legs are here and the tip tail is the only tip thing that's holding it, um, you kind of just have to fiddle with it to get it to stand and then pose the legs. Kind of reminds me of um, those old Soupmation Godzilla movies. That's kind of reminds me of right here. But yeah, so let's take a look at this monster. It's a really cool monster. Um, NECA did a figure of it a long time ago, but uh, this is our version of it. We looked at images from the film. We watched the film, the film itself, the scene from the film. And you can see it's a great looking monster in terms of what we tried to capture from the film. Um, there is some things we wanted to do is add some battle damage. So all this little blue paint here, um, there's some blue paint here is kind of to emulate the damage that this monster had from the fight with um, Striker Eureka. So you can see the blast holes right there, Kaiju blue blood, same thing here, same thing on the head, which was actually noted in the, um, the scene where we see it in a human perspective, the monster getting shot at, you can actually see blood split out if you watch that scene. There's actually some blood right here. And I think that's it, but yeah. Um, besides making it a gray monster, we thought let's add some color to it. So we thought the best way is to add that battle damage effect. Oh, the arms also do pop off these smaller arms and there is some blue paint on it. So to emulate the damage now that didn't happen in the film, but it's just a little artistic liberty where you can actually have an option to remove these. You can see some blue paint right there. And that is to simulate the battle damage. So if you take this piece off, you can see there's some blue paint predominantly on this side here. So yeah, that's an option. So there are those small little arms right there. You can see they're very detailed, very nice. And if you want to uh, put them back, you can put them back. Just do it nicely. Like that. Do the same thing. Now this isn't a, this is an origami figure, but it is a figure 
Um, treat this as treating like a NECA or SH Monster Arts or a um, Ultimates figure. You know, it's a figure to pose, and but it's not something for kids like, you know, Hasbro, Marvel toys or Bakugans or whatever kind of kids toys, WWE wrestling. So you can drop it. It's not fragile, but um, it's also not like a figure, you know. Just think you're dropping a NECA alien figure on the floor, you know. Sometimes they'll break, sometimes they'll be fine. You know, you might damage a piece or it gets paint chipping. Same thing, treat this as a collectible figure. And so let's take a look at the details. So you can see the head sculpt. One of my favorite parts about this is that head. And so we tried to capture that as um, accurate as possible. The neck, it's got the iconic yellow strip that a lot of the monsters had. You can see the fin right there. And then these smaller fins, which are accurate to the film. Same thing on the other side. I should put that neck piece back in. You can see the arms are detailed as well. Got that yellow stripe patteration. You can see the claws. The front of the chest has got detail as well. She pulls the arms out of the way. See just how much we tried to cram in to this uh, figure here. You can see some more detail on the legs. And there is a separate piece for the foot here. And there is also a separate piece for this top here, right there. The back, there is a separate piece to keep this looking more organic, which is this piece here. And you can see overall, there's a lot of detail. Then the tail is also a separate piece and that is posable. You can pose that up and down in that range. Tail's got some nice detail as well. So just a overall nice looking figure for the size here. And you can see how tall it is just from the finger up like that. So, um, and it is posable. There is posability on this guy. And so you can pose the jaw up and down and when you open the jaw you get that awesome uh, nasty looking tongue there but it's really detailed you can see a lot of tension to detail and also the gums are there as well so just a really accurate looking monster just fantastic craftsmanship the head is also on a swivel so you can rotate that you can actually have him look like this which is kind of funny, you know, you think a monster would have his eyes up here, but it's actually down here and it's just really cool. You can see the 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 eyes are detailed as well. We, you know, did a nice job on that. So the jaw and the head are posable. The neck um, does pop off like this, but it's not posable. You can have the kaiju look side to side, up and down, but then there's kind of that open gap. So. It is there, the option is there to pose that neck, but um, it's mainly just tucked in like this. So just, that's the best way if you wanted to display it. The smaller arms, of course, you saw are on swivels. The arms can go forward and back, or swivel forward and back. And there's also articulation right here on the elbows. So it can go that far. Same thing on the other side of the creature, swivel, and then there's a joint here, you can go that far, up and down. Now the body, there is a cut here and here, which is on a joint, but it's very limited, so, um, but it's there, it's actually not that much at all. think I can really show yeah it's just just a tiny little you know joint right there for the body it doesn't really do that much but um, you know it's nice that it's there to add some posability you know that's something we could have done better but you know that's there you can see pop that neck back in the legs I'll move the arms out of the way to show you. The legs do go forward and back. Back not too much because of the, 
This here, don't want to break that piece off, but you can have the kaiju kick. And then there is also a joint right here, but it doesn't go that much. It just swivels like that, but it does help to stand the figure by itself if you wish to without the display stand. And I'll show you the other side as well. So the kaiju can kick, and then there is a small little joint there, and that's to help the kaiju stand if you want to. So finally, and then there is the tail, which I did show earlier, but you can swivel like that. So yeah, that's a really, uh, the posability, so it has that much posability on it. And I said with the legs, if you want to have it stand, use the stand like this. And there we go, Kaiju Mudavor. Um, this is the homemade Pacific Group 2013 Kaiju Mudavor. It does come with its own packaging right here, which will show um oops. actually i think i'll get this out of the way to show you the box own little packaging um the figure will be inserted here uh, just a nice little custom carded box for it not too spectacular but wanted to keep it as simple and of course um add a little picture of the monster and all that and if you want to see more images and more um, detail looks at the packaging, the monster, the figure, and more about this item and price if you're interested to purchase one. Um, check out the link below. This is available um, limited on our Etsy store and available on our eBay store. So it doesn't cost that much. Please um, Feel free to check out those links. I would love to make more of these. And I like, you know, I just like making these. And um, yeah, tell me honestly what you think about this. If you're interested to buy one, let me know. Um, if you want to see more, there is more links below and more videos. This is a channel called Homely Collectibles. So um, please click on that subscribe button today. Give a like. Just let me know what you think. And um, yeah, have a good one. Thank you.